minimum requirement of equipment that you need for the art department is a ruler, two HB pencils, or mechanical pencils are quite good, the ones that propel um, and have the lead in them. These are quite good for drawing very straight lines without having to sharpen your pencil. A pair of scissors, a fine liner pen, a rubber and a razor and a pencil sharpener that works quite well. You also need um, a sketchbook. Now make sure your sketchbook has cartridge paper in it and uh, you write your name clearly uh, in the front cover of the page. You can experiment with your sketchbook and draw anything you'd like in your sketchbook. Try out different types of pens, drawings. Make sure you fill up the whole page with drawings before you move on to the next. Don't leave gaps in between your pages and don't rip out the pages of your sketchbook. It doesn't matter if it's not going quite as you expect it to be. Um, just move on and use the next page. If you really don't like something, you can always stick a picture over the top of it. But these sketchbooks are really for you to experiment at any time and you can draw whatever you want in them. Um, and you will be expected also to bring your sketchbook to each lesson in case you need to spend a few minutes drawing in it while people are packing up. You can also bring in some coloured pencils. Uh, those are good for doing personal work and some class work. Uh, you will also need a file to put your artwork in. Now it needs to be a very thin folder, not the type of folder with a clip on it that clips and holds your work. That's for presentation and it doesn't hold very much. But you can get the type of folder that has plastic wallets in it, like this one, which I keep some of my photographs in, and they're already in it and they usually have at least 20 plastic wallets, uh, which is really good for keeping your work in. You can get thin folders that um, you can put plastic wallets in it and they have um, two little holes that you attach your plastic wallets through that but don't bring in a ring binder because they're too thick and they take up too much space so just either a folder with plastic wallets in it or a folder a plastic folder that you can put at least five to ten plastic wallets in it to keep your work safely when you bring it to the lesson. If you want to upgrade your materials, you could bring in a pencil sharpener that has got a space to put all the sharpenings in so you don't have to go to the bin to empty your sharpenings. So you could choose a pencil sharpener that already has um, space to keep your shavings, but make sure your pencil sharpener works properly. Um, you can also get watercolour pencils. Now, you can get various brands of watercolour pencils, but these are really good um, for creating watercolour effects. And the colours are better than in the school watercolour sets, but they're great to use in combination between with the watercolours and the watercolour pencils. And uh, they're really good quality, so you don't have to get this brand. There's lots of different brands that you can get. Um, but make sure they're watercolour pencils. Also, if you want to get um, some coloured fine liners, they're, can quite, they're quite useful to draw with, to experiment with in your sketchbook. Any type of coloured fine liner. And particularly for Year 7 and Year 9, uh, coloured Sharpie pens are very good for colouring in uh, different pieces of artwork. So coloured Sharpie pens, keep the lids on securely. Coloured Sharpie pens are very highly recommended um, as an addition to your art equipment.